Today we're going to do a quick little uh, tip on using the Seesaw icons within your activities to help students understand the directions that you're typing in for them um, or that you're recording for them. So here we go. So Seesaw has all of these nice icons that they use and these are the icons that show up when kids are in Seesaw and working. Um, so this helps students understand what physical things within Seesaw they need to click on as they're going through a project. So if we look at this example here of this uh, koala Spanish one, you see these little microphone and the bell and the finger. These are the icons that we want to be able to type in to our directions. And the shortcuts for those are listed on this PDF here, which you can find just by doing a quick search of Seesaw keyboard shortcuts, and you can easily get to this icon. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an activity. So if we create a brand new activity here, um, keyboard shortcuts. Now when we're going to type our directions in here and we want one of these to be included in, the shortcuts are all preceded and postseded by a colon. So if I want the microphone, I'm going to put colon, then type mic, colon, and then move on with my directions. And if I want video, so that they have the little camera, it's going to be colon, video, colon. If we want to see the Seesaw logo, colon, Seesaw, colon. And as you type these into your directions, they look like this here, but when we go and save this activity, now in our directions, these icons are there. And again, those icons are there to help your students better understand the type of directions that you have for them because the kids know what to look for when they're working on an activity. So that's very quick how to use uh, the keyboard shortcuts when you're creating your activity directions for Seesaw. Have a good one.